We always hear about low light periods in bass fishing and how amazing it can be, how many fish that we can catch. And, and because of that assumption, then we, it leads us to believe that the sun is bad for bass fishing. Well, that's just not true. And after watching this, you're gonna learn about several situations that can make fishing in the sun some of your favorite times. First, we need to understand that this is all about willingness to chase and predictability. During low light periods, bass are more likely to pull out of shade producing cover and chase a bait farther than they would when that sun is high in the sky. So we can work down the shoreline and catch a random fish here or there. And that is where this assumption that low light periods are amazing comes from. Because you can just go down the shoreline and catch fish in random places. Well, the part that I don't like about that is the random. When that sun starts to get up in the sky, get high in the sky, it pushes bass into predictable locations and that is always a good thing. Take a look at this dock right here. This is a small dock, it's not very big, and look at the number of bass sitting underneath it. There are a ton of them right here. Well, this is because they are now in a predictable place because that sun is high over head and so often what will happen we'll come by we'll catch a fish off of that dock and just keep on going we won't fish it for everything else that is there but if we approach it knowing there's a good chance because of the predictability that there's going to be a pile of fish under there all of a sudden we take that one fish that we catch and maybe now it's three or four off of that same shade producing cover that makes an okay day into a really good day very quickly. And the other thing that is so nice about that high sunshine and predictable places like this is they will reload. If we mess up as anglers, if we get a lure stuck in there or come into it too quickly, put them on alert, give it just a little bit of time and they will come right back to it. Always, always assume when you find that shade producing cover, that sun's high in the sky, that there are multiple fish under there. Second, the nice thing is the higher the sun gets, the tighter that shade gets. It's great to fish down a shoreline that has a shade line the length of it. It's a high percentage area. It's a lot of fun. We can parallel just cover a big stretch of that shade with every single cast. But as that sun gets higher, that shade line gets smaller and it just pushes those fish into a tighter and tighter area. And all of a sudden we can eliminate 90% of the water that is behind us. We can just focus on that really, really tight piece of shade. The next thing we need to think about fishing in the sun and myths that we need to like overturn or, or not think about is when you have some strong current or a strong present of prey species, they do not care about the sun whatsoever. That current and that prey is going to be the main factor in positioning where they are at. Let's take a look at this funnel right here. The wind was pushing through it really strong. We've got a lot of wind driven current coming through here. And right here next to it is a pretty substantial lily pad field. There were no bass under here whatsoever. They were all out in the middle of this funnel because of that current and it was not very deep. This area was about four feet deep. The sun was high in the sky, pushing down, but the bass were there because of that current and the food that that current was bringing to them. So when you've got a funnel type of a situation, you've got good current, you've got wind, you've got prey species that you're noticing, that's when all bets are off as far as that shade producing cover. Yes, target it, make sure you focus on that, but don't forget about bass that are gonna be positioned out in the sun because of those other factors. So often, especially if you're in your boat, you could be focusing right on those lily pads and all the bass are out there behind us, multiple bass out there, and we would never even cast a line out there to them, and they're out in the middle of the bright sunshine. And hey, if you'd like to watch a video that talks about two different ways to think about our topwater fishing and how it can really impact the lures that we choose, go ahead and check this one out right here, and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For The Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.